It is one of the largest sex abuse settlements in U.S. history. Now, a big payout is coming for thousands of patients of a Johns Hopkins gynecologist who was accused of secretly recording women. WJZ is live. Avajoy Burnett tells us after a slow and sometimes traumatic process, victims will finally start seeing some of that money from a massive $190 million settlement. Avajoy. Mary, good evening to you. Investigators say thousands of women became victims when their gynecologist secretly recorded them. Now they are getting compensation, but some are saying that's not good enough. I was angry. I was angry. Angry with myself and angry with John Hopkins. Stasi Simmons Gomez is one of more than 8,000 patients investigators believe was victimized by their gynecologist when he secretly recorded them using cameras and pens. Now, after years of going through the legal process, settlement checks will start going out next week. According to court documents, thousands of victims were placed in categories which considered damages and emotional distress, the impact on their lives, and individual vulnerability. Johns Hopkins agreed to the $190 million settlement, and compensation for victims will range from $1,800 to more than $27,000. But some believe that's not enough because minors were involved. If anything, the kids should have got at least a million dollars. At least a million dollars. Judge Irma Raker was part of a panel that interviewed victims. She stands by the process. This process was eminently fair. We took into account what each person told us, and we're not just considering one person, but as I said before, 8,342 people. Dr. Nikita Levy killed himself after the allegations. For the victims who are willing to speak out, they say this process has been traumatizing. A lot of us feel duped again. A lot of us feel victimized again. Um, angry. Judge Raker said victims had the opportunity to appeal, but the appellate process is now over. Reporting live tonight, Avajoy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. Avajoy, thank you. Johns Hopkins tells WJZ it had no say in how the funds were allocated. Of the $190 million in settlement money, $32 million went to attorney's fees.